Viège, Zermatt, il vous souhaite un agréable voyage. There's no one else here. This was the first train in Europe to check my URL pass. These are all the places I've gone. First one. First one. There's no one on the street. No one wants to join us. I thought Zermatt was popular. I am so excited to go and see the Matterhorn. I swear, after I check into my hostel, I'm just gonna like sprint at it full speed. Maybe not like full speed, but like we're gonna go and see it today. I just wanna look at it. I just want to look at it. I've wanted to look at it for so long. We're just gonna go and look at it. find the locker room because I can't check in until four and it's only two. I don't want to carry this thing around. These hallways are too narrow for me. Ugh, I don't want to rent it. I'll just put my stuff over there. Chain up my camera bag. they want my bag, they're gonna have to take the entire rack with them. I'm never worried about Switzerland, but I'm from New York, so I still lock my things up. There was just like a bunch of people like awkwardly sitting in reception when I walked in, like really, really cramped reception. And I'm like, are y'all really gonna be sitting here for the next two hours waiting to check in? They all had their luggage. Why not just come put it down here? Okay, I'm gonna go to the coop and get some coffee and get something to eat. I am starving. All I've eaten the past few days has basically been grapes. So basically I went to McDonald's because I couldn't find the coop without my GPS. Like I don't understand why my data is not working, but I need internet to be able to contact the people to make my data work again. And the Wi-Fi at the hotel, I need a password, which I won't get till I check in at four. So now I'm stuck sitting out here eating McDonald's because I wasn't paying $30 for a meal. At least this was only 10. I was so hungry. I'm lost. It's beautiful here though. Can we just real quick talk about how this burger actually looks like the pictures that McDonald's puts out instead of the stuff you get in the United States? <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't want to go too far because if I get lost, then I'm not going to be able to find my way back. Let's do some exploring, guys. This is cute. I really miss having friends. Being in that hotel for five days and it rained three of the five days was really miserable. Like, I don't like sitting inside that long. I'll do like a day. But after a day, I'm just like, okay, I wanna go outside. I wanna make some friends. I wanna do something. So I'm glad to be back in a hostel and I hope there's more people here later so I can make some friends. I like a nice little desk. Oh, can't wait to go look at the Matterhorn. Oh, cool, it's been here since 1902. <gasps> the Wi-Fi. So I'm calling this place that like gave me my SIM card so I can like try and get my data back up and running. And then like it listed a bunch of languages that, you know, aren't English. And then it was like for all other languages, like English, Siberian and Al Albania, whatever that language is from Alberia. They hung up on me. I need data. Why did they group me with this country? They don't want to help me. I really don't want to have to go get a whole nother SIM card for the next five days. So after about an hour, I figured it out, guys. Labaria does not take US credit cards. They only take European credit cards. So that's why I can't put any more money onto my account. So now I have to go find a new SIM card for the next five days because obviously I want to be hiking and being in the mountains and I can't do that without 
a GPS. Like, if something happens to me and I get lost, I'm gonna need data. Hate that this is what I have to do with my day. And I get to check in in 20 minutes, so then we can go figure it out. Okay guys, so I'm in my hostel room now. It's cute, I love these beds. I got a little plug and a light. But I share my room with five other much older, really intense mountain men. So that's cool. <laughs> so this is what happened with my lovely phone situation. Yeah, I couldn't top off my card because I don't have a European credit card, so I went to the post office. So in case you're in Zermatt and you need a SIM card, post office is the place that will sell them to you. I was able to get one for uh, the five days that I'm here for $20. So not too bad because that was what I was going to put on it anyway if they accepted my credit card. And it's been raining for the past two hours but it just stopped and I've been staring at the Matterhorn from my hostel and we're gonna go, we're not gonna be able to get close to it today because it's already like 6.30, but we're gonna go take a little walk through town and we're just, we're just gonna look at it because I just wanna look at it. Tomorrow I am taking a cable car up to the top and not of, not of the Matterhorn, <laughs> the top of this mountain next to the Matterhorn and um, doing the Five Lakes hike and it looks absolutely stunning. So tomorrow's gonna be the good views. It might start raining again, so I'm not gonna take my good camera out. I'm just gonna bring the GoPro bow. We're gonna go uh, look at the Matterhorn. Bit chilly, ready to go. I think it's really cool that there's no cars here and there's only taxis. Look at these taxis. That is super unique. I can't get over how funny it is how everybody looks at me here. It's just, it's so funny. Goals. It's incredible. Oh my God, I traveled so far to see this majestic beauty. I cannot wait to get a better look of it up there in the mountains tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Absolutely insane. at loss for words again. Yeah, I really, really wonder how you hike that. I mean, obviously you climb it, but it's just... Duh. Hmm. I'm trying to interpret this sign right now. Are you supposed to walk sideways? I wonder what trail goes straight up. Switzerland is strange. I love it. You know, to be honest, I don't really go exploring at like seven o'clock at night, but just being here, like I just don't want to go inside for the night. Like, let's just, let's go see something cool. That is extremely cool already, but you know, let's go find more cool things. Forest Fun Park, Noon Trees, I have been smiling my butt off at every single person that walks past me and they all just look at me like... Whatever, it's fine. Ah, the, the forest fun park is like a ropes course, but through the forest, like most of them are. Still cool, probably way too expensive for my budget considering I gotta buy a $30 cable car tomorrow. See if we can find anything else. I don't know, it's like seven o'clock at night, but I don't wanna go home. The closer I get to this mountain, the more cold it gets. Not shocked. I love these signs. And how people don't lock their bikes up. It says there's a gorge this way, but I don't know if that kind of thing closes because it's so late and everything in Switzerland closes early. But can you really close a gorge? Okay, so this sign has a time on it, and it's like two hours past that time, but there's no one here. Let's see how far I can get. Well, it costs money and it's monitored, so not very far. Switzerland, five francs isn't bad. I might come back here if I have some free time in the next two days because I jam-packed my days. <sighs> okay, it's getting cold and dark. So I guess I'm gonna head back now. I walked like a half hour out here. 
but I've had to see the Matterhorn today. Like I have wanted to see it forever. Like, oh my God, it was so beautiful. Tomorrow, I'm going to get so much better footage on my good camera, it's not supposed to rain. It's gonna be a great day. But thank you for joining me as I enter Zermatt. Catch you guys on the next one.